What's up, .NET developers? Visual Studio just launched a new way for us as API developers to manage our APIs. And we're going to learn about it right here on learning .NET and C Sharp with Isaac. Hey folks, Isaac Levin here with another edition of Learning .NET and C Sharp with Isaac, where we're going to be going over all the cool things that are coming out in .NET 8 and C Sharp 12, which again launches at .NET Conf in November of 2023. So we've been following on the videos, we've talked about some cool things that are coming in C-sharp, .NET, even in Visual Studio and VS Code. And if you remember one of my previous videos where I talked about the .http file that allows you to have a in Visual Studio debugging experience against your APIs that you have hosted. And I think it's really, really cool. If you haven't checked out that video, be sure to click up uh, top here and let me know. And also, if you're liking any of the other videos, be sure to like, subscribe, and follow, share them along, and put down in the comments what sort of stuff you want to see. And again, we're getting closer and closer to .NET Conf in November. Uh, so I was talking about the HTTP files, right? But there's also another really cool thing in Visual Studio that allows you to get a better development experience for your APIs, and that's something called Endpoint Explorer. And I want to show you what that is experience uh, looks like and how we can use it to really make our API development a bit more seamless. So let's hop over to my screen. And as you can see here, um, in the previous video, I used this like simple to do app. And for instance, let's zoom in. As you can see here, there's that SQLite database. And it's just a simple uh, you know, CRUD thing where if I take a look at the controller here, I'm doing a get and create and update and all that sort of cool stuff. So um, let's just run this. So just to remind us what this experience looks like, and I'll bring this over to um, this screen. And as you can see here, this it's using Swagger by default. So I can do, for instance, take a look here and try out and execute. And as you can see, I have a list, I have two items in my customer um, object or my customer service, right? So let's actually just close this out really quick and talk about how I'm able to test that. So I use the HTTP file, like I was mentioning a bit earlier, right? Really, really cool, brings uh, a really great debugging or developing experience. But if you are just getting started with, you know, APIs in the new version of new version of Visual Studio, let's just close this out. You can actually take advantage of, like I mentioned, the API Endpoints Explorer. And how you get access to that is you go up to view and then you go into other windows and then there's an option for Endpoints Explorer. Let's just zoom in right there, Endpoints Explorer. So I, let's click that. Sorry, I clicked the wrong button. So go to Endpoints Explorer and that's gonna open up this tab. And inside this tab, it's gonna show us all of the um, endpoints on our API. So as you can see here, we have a get, a post, a get, a put, and delete. And I can actually, for instance, I can double click on that and it'll take me right to this controller. Let's actually, um, make Solution Explorer a little bit smaller in this case. But it allows me to do some really, really cool stuff. Like I open this up and it'll take, you know, show me what the method name is, the path of the file, the controller that's being used by this particular endpoint. And I can do that for all of them. And I can actually right click and it'll let me open in the editor. So for instance, I can open this up and I'll go to Visual, open that up in Visual Studio. So if we close this out, just right click on one of these. Go to open an editor. It's going to open up that customer controller, which is really cool. But also one cool thing. So if you remember that previous video, we actually had to create that HTTP file ourselves. Well, Endpoints Explorer allows you a quicker way to um, build those uh, by default. So let's actually just right click on this one and generate request here. So and this is what this is going to do is it's actually going to create a to do API .http. And as you can see, we're using variables to specify the host address and then a particular um, the, the get of the customer. So if I click this, it's going to return us a result. So as you can see here, I just move my face out of the way. So that's the, the result. And we can do other things too. Like for instance, maybe we want to test the post. So let's just generate a request for that. And as you can see here, we can specify what our customer looks like in there. And then we can do deletes and whatever. And this is really, really cool because it allows us to easily generate those HTTP files to be able to test our APIs in Visual Studio. And that's what I really want to show you, a really quick video on how we can really, you know, level up our API development. So if you're not using the Endpoints Explorer, please do. Um, and comment down below if, if you have found some really, really cool things that you're doing with it. And I'm looking forward to hearing all the cool things as you're building with .NET 8 and C Sharp 12. So that's it for this one. So let me know if you like it again, like and share and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Take care.